in the middle of a random street. That's good. But look who I'm with. Vlog exception. Come on. The level up girl. We made it to Nashville, y'all. Like, I'm so grateful. Look at God. Mm. Oh, I'm tripping. <gasps> That was so fun. 10 out of 10 recommend. I haven't danced like that since, we were saying, since like college. Oh, Literally. I didn't even finish college, but you know what I mean. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Et cetera. That's what we think. That's what we love. No, but we love that. <laughs> Thank you. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. street i had to get off the subway because it was in a delay so that's what that was but let's go into the office because what is happening today <laughs> Alexis invited me to this random event on the penthouse floor and I look like this. Ah! I guess I'm giving comfy cash. I take my socks off. Are my ankles ashy? Oh God. Anyway, we're giving after work chic. Cause I did not know. I don't even have any makeup on. Oh well. <laughs> Hey guys, well, it was a long work day and I filmed not much, but just know it's all gonna make sense in like six months to a year. Anyway, um, me and Brittany, Brittany has swindled me, gun to my head. We're going to, she calls it pergola. That's so cute. I say pergola. <laughs> I think that's the right Pergola? Yeah. I don't know, I but. I'm no, I like, yours sounds cute. I'm like, pergola. Um, yeah, so we're going there for one reason and one reason only. Hookah. And we're going to actually do work, people. Kind of. And it's after 5 p.m. We still. And it's after. Yeah. It's 5.07. Wow. Overachievers. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go do that and have a little hummus. Their food is actually really good. It's so good. 
Is it raining? Um, I have no idea, but if it is, I have a hood. And I have an umbrella. Come in the city for a reason. Yeah. Let's go. The level up girls. It's raining. It's ugly. And you want to go. Now that's something different about New York. Y'all be like, anyway. When I tell you it's raining, I'm like, yeah, I'm never leaving the house. Friday. Um, everything's shut down. Ooh, not the water. We going straight? This way? Oh. We made it to Nashville, y'all. But why is it cold? Why is it cold? I had to pull out my scarf. I'm so glad I stuck this little scarf in my um bag at the last minute. I had to put my little scarf on, y'all. In our room, we're staying at the Hutton. Hutton? Hutton? I never know, like, Hutton. Is it, like, Hutton or is it Hutton? Anyway, hotel. I am actually exhausted, but I'm more hungry. So I'm going to either... I don't know. I might just eat downstairs, y'all. Let me see how far this place is. Because they gave me a little... Oops, sorry. The light is this way. I'm going to do a real little room tour, but... They gave me a 10% uh, off my code to Midtown Cafe. Matter of fact, I'm not going to probably just go do that because it's 10% off. But I'm tired, so I'm probably going to eat. I would love to get my nails done, but also, like, who cares? If I have time, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to give you guys a little room tour. Did I tell you guys why I'm here? I'm here to speak at the Women's Litigators Conference, Litigation Conference, Women's Litigation, Southeastern. <laughs> Women's Litigation Conference. <laughs> um, as you know, I used to litigate in employment law, but I'm not a litigator. Okay, I'm a transactional attorney, guilty. But they have me speaking about social media and why there's lawyers that are needed. And then I'm also going to touch on like how to be properly dressed in a variety of different scenarios and areas. All women, so I'm so excited. I brought a dress and pants, so I don't know which one I'm going to wear yet. But it's cold, so I'm like, what? So anyway, let's do an apartment tour, or hotel tour. So here's the front door. I had to insert my key for power. I don't know if I leave it. Remove car key, turns power off, but it didn't turn off, so. Anyway, so here is the front. When you walk in, it's so cute. We love a full length mirror. To our left, we have the bathroom. It's like a little sliding door. Oh, is it locked? I love a barn door. I love a barn door. Anyway, hi, super cute. And we just have a regular bathroom stuff, you know? This is cute though. And the lighting. Oh, I look tired. Okay. <laughs> but the lighting is phenomenal. Wow. I need to do like a makeup get ready me or something. It's so cute. I'm just surprised the room is ready. Like, I'm so grateful. Look at God. Mm. We have the goods, the goods, the sh a good shower. We love a good shower. I don't know if it's good with, by the water pressure. Anybody else feel that way? Anyway, shower. Then you come back out of the bathroom, turn the lights off, and we have a full length mirror, period. Little outfit check. I'm wearing, my coat is from Ann Taylor. My jacket is Fabletics. I have on my, it's not a crop top. I don't know why it's lifted up like this, but okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a set from um, Bear by Berea. You already know, I love traveling in her um, at leisure. Bear by Berea socks and my Yeezys, period. Period poo. Hat is H&M. My hair is straightened and clean. It just needs to be styled. So, yeah. Um, and then to the left, we have a closet. Okay, iron. Robes. We love a robe. A little suitcase thing. I'm actually going to take this out because I'm going to put my suitcase on this. Put my suitcase on this. Okay. I'm actually gonna hang up my dress and stuff in a second. Anyway, here's the bed. It looks super comfortable. Oh, this is cute. This little blue detail. That's just cute. Cutesy. Um, we have my suitcase and bag. 
I really didn't even bring all this, but. Okay, we have some coffee. Drawers. I'm not going to open all of them. You guys see the vibes. Little fridge. Or it's a, oh, it's a little safety. Oop. It's, um, child. Go back in there. Okay. It's a little lock. Um, mini bar things that I'm not going to touch. Cute little Nashville. Another mirror. Like, they want to make sure that we can see. I love that. I hate when hotels have one little mirror. What am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with that? Yeah. Um, little chair. That's my scarf, y'all. And then here's the... There is so spacious. There's so much room. So, I'm not mad at that. This is the little view. Not too much. But we're actually in, like, a really good area, I think. We're on Broadway and West End Avenue. For those that are Nashville girlies. Enough of that. Let's... Get all together. I literally can't believe it's colder here than in New York. What? Take me back to New York then. If I gotta deal with the cold, I might as well be in the city, okay? But anyway. Oh, it's cold, it's cold. I ain't holding you, it's two degrees. I'm so glad I got this on. See, I would just like walk across the street like I do in New York here. But here, they hit my black ass, yeah. They're gonna hit me. I mean, New York too, but. <laughs> oh. You know, not AT&T right here. I really got some words for them, okay? Because I was one of the people in my first house. And they're gonna give us like five or ten dollars. Be for real. Give me a month free. That's what I want. Cute. I literally would have never found it. It's so cute. Hello, beautiful people. We are back from getting our nails done. They look so cute. I did my go-to for wrench dip. I'm so glad that they knew how to do it. Cause sometimes they put like white polish on the tips instead of using dip the whole time and they did good. So finally, I haven't had my nails done like this in too long. I feel like I'm back to myself. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna do my hair first, but my straightener is heating up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my brows. I have about 20 minutes to do everything. I just took a shower too. I feel so refreshed. I was like, ugh, so I feel like taking a shower because I'm like close on time, but like not bad, but I have time. So I'm gonna do our brows. I really need to buy some um, concealer, but, but also I think I'm getting some sent to me by a brand. Dang, I think I left it. Dang. Oh well, we're gonna have to ad-lib it. Definitely forgot it. Use the brow gel then. You guys are sitting on like this little thing. Anyway, I always get nervous before I speak. Not that I don't know what I'm talking about or anything like that, it's just like little nerves. So I'm just constantly Telling myself affirmations, like you would not be invited to speak if they didn't want you there. You would not be entering into this opportunity and entering into this room if God didn't think you were qualified. Because I always get nervous. Always get nervous. Even if it's like something small, like I spoke at Brooklyn Law School with Charmaine and I was nervous. <laughs> I'm always nervous. But I feel like a little bit of nerves is good. I always used to say that like before plays when I was younger. I'd be like, a little bit of nerves are good. And I'm prepared, so. PowerPoint's done, I took a look at it, I looked over it, did a little bit of additional research for some possible questions, things like that. And honestly, the best part and the best advice I can give you guys when you're speaking or if you're nervous about something or if you're like, oh, I don't know what they're gonna ask me, what if I don't know the answer? You might not know the answer. Sorry if y'all see my bra. I don't feel like taking it off. Cause this, I put this dress on after I put my underwear on because I didn't want to 
you can't wear my underwear. <laughs> but yeah, my best advice is it's okay if you don't know the answer. Like that's okay. That's sometimes like the scariest part about doing stuff like this. Like, oh, what if I don't know the answer? And guess what? Just be bold with it. Like, you know what? I actually don't know that. Or that's a really good question. And I'm not sure about it. And that's okay. And that doesn't make you less credible or does it negate any other things that you do know that you did answer. And if somebody thinks it does, then they were looking for a reason to make negative commentary. Anyway, I should have let them do my brows at that nail salon. My brows need to be waxed so bad. They don't look that bad. They're definitely like not perfect, but they don't look bad. So I'll just do that initial little. In fact, I'm just gonna do my makeup first, actually. Yeah, let me wash my hands. I always wash my hands first with my face. This little sink that's glass is so trippy. Cause I'm like, oh my God, am I spilling it on the ground? I can't explain it. I'll have to show you guys later when I have a little bit more time. Natural no makeup makeup look. This is the Smashbox primer. I don't know why it's focusing so slow, but um, I will leave links down below. If I don't leave individual links, y'all, I've been just leaking my like to know it shop and I categorize products and things. So if you're like, oh, I don't see the links and I just see this shop, <laughs> that's the links. Click that link and it will take you to the like to know it app or website and you guys can shop till you drop. It's just easier for me to organize things versus like listing the individual products. You can like see them all at once. You know what I'm saying? Then I got Duncan coffee and I don't know what the heck. My stomach is not feeling great and I'm like, excellent. Excellent, why did I do that? But I needed a little coffee and I can't even drink it cause I don't know what Duncan got going on. And I know somebody's like, what'd you get? I got a, just a latte, a iced latte. I have vanilla, almond milk, like what? Basic, classic, shouldn't have been a problem. I swear I'm not flicking y'all off, y'all. It's just how I pet the propaganda. <laughs> this little um, eye concealer, eye uh, corrector concealer. I have it in dark, it's Becca Cosmetics. And Smashbox did a collab, cause you know Becca ain't really a thing, but Smashbox and Becca did a thing. And I love that stuff. I never, it, it has lasted me so long. Like my thing is like, if I've had it for a long time, but like it still works, should I still use it? Or is it like, that's old? Don't even answer that, because I'm still using it anyway. <laughs> and then I like to use my Huda Beauty, because this basically matches my skin tone. I use this like under my lip, my chin, like kind of like the darker area, just to like even it out. And then I'm basically out of this, like I'm scraping the edges of this glass bottle, like there's nothing left. But it's like good for um, complexion because it's my same color. And I'm not like doing foundation, so. Yeah, and then I go in with my YSL and I look for a lighter shade under my eye. And under the eye, I let it get a little thick. So I'll leave it on there for a little bit. Nothing crazy because I don't have time, but I'm no makeup guru. So I have pretty much been doing my makeup the same way for years. Because once I figured out a way that worked, I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, damn, I just pressed that. Luckily, the um, event is in the hotel that I'm in, so I don't have to go far. Which I'm like, perfect, because I ain't got that much time. And I want to be a little bit early so that I can see this phase. Because right now there's somebody else speaking, and um, I was like, girl, I'm not about to stress myself and try to get there an hour early. Mm -mm. No, I'm not doing that. I'm exhausted, I'm not gonna hold y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> So I'm trying to hold, I'm not trying to like save my energy. Cause that coffee was supposed to set it off for you girl. And the coffee <sighs> set off something else in the stomach. Okay. I'm like, Jesus, what is happening? I did a little drum on me, so hopefully it can settle a little bit. I'm not rushing too bad. I feel like I'm on a good time right now. It's one o'clock, I speak at two. It's literally right in the same hotel. But I'm gonna head down there like 1.30. I'm gonna be like on the ele getting on the elevator or walking out of the, the hotel room. I'm pretty much almost done with my makeup. I really don't do too much. I'm talking about not too much. I don't think about it too much, too much. Powder, I feel like it always gets everywhere. Like, how do the girls do it? The girls, the girls. I almost feel like a real makeup girl when I use this little thing. My eye literally naturally creases. And I'm tired, so that doesn't help either. I didn't get that much sleep. 
So we're gonna, I should have doubled up the concealer, damn, I should have like put a little bit more, but I got powder on it now, it's too late. And my eyelids get oily, anybody else? I feel like that's so random, but my eyelids get oily, so I have to put it on my eyelids. And we're setting all the places. I set, I set my smile lines, even though I don't put anything there, but I just do it. You start to just kind of learn like what works for your face. So I had to get close to the goddamn y'all. No, I, I, so like actually like, why do I put it on my cutest bow? I don't know. I just like that little area to be defined. I don't know. I literally don't know if that's like a thing. Like I just always put a little, I don't know. I kind of like the shade of it. So I just like emphasize it. I feel like it gives me some structure. Take my phone off. Do not disturb. Just in case, I don't know. Somebody would be calling me. Wait, did I even tell y'all? Yeah, that video should go up before this one about me being an ambassador for Notability. And I was like, damn, I never used Notability. So I'm like, dang, I felt bad, like, damn. But I think it's cool because then I can share the perspective of somebody that uh, is new to it. So I can give like a beginner's point of view kind of thing. So I'm excited, super excited. Um, it's very, um, what's the word? I can't discuss like payment and stuff like that for the contract yet, but it's a very like casual amount of money. It's not like a ton, so. But honestly, every dollar counts. I live in New York now, okay? Okay. Every dollar, cent, quarter, penny, nickel, dime, quarter, penny, nickel, dime counts. All of them. <laughs> Then I went to wear the pants. I was gonna wear the dress, but I'm not even really feeling the dress. I'm not gonna hold y'all. My eyes are watering. Hold. Hold, please. Why would you why would you start watering? Like, why would you do that? The key to me, to me, I don't know if this is correct, but to me, the key to a no makeup makeup look is your skincare. And a good blush. Mm. Your skincare and a good blush. Quote me. No, just kidding. I broke my little um, baby finishing powder, but I'm still using these little crusts. I'm using these little crumbs. Okay. So. Oh my god, I'm so glad I took a shower. I feel refreshed. Are you a shower or like bath people? I like a bath, but I'm definitely a shower person. You can romanticize uh, the shower, okay? Like you do a bath. It's not the exact same, but. Okay, that's it. I'm done with my makeup. Oh, I'm tripping. <gasps> I didn't bring any setting spray. I brought the fan. I feel like that really ties in the, the face. Is it ghetto if I do like a little bit of water? Is that ghetto? I'm about to do it. I'm just a little. Child, be for real. This is so. <laughs> Nobody judge me. I don't know. Cause really, what is settings right? Okay. Don't try this at home. Damn. I don't think that did anything, but oh well. Okay, am I scaring me? I just brought Miss Lancome because I don't want to have to do the waterproof. Okay, y'all don't have to watch me do this. Y'all know how to do your mascara. I'll be back when I do my hair. <laughs>
bored me first you sure oh my time been off yours to the floor let me tell y'all one huge benefit being a lonely child and living on your own things like that learning how to zip up a dress it's a little tight on the hips but it's giving body it's giving body okay i need to get I love this deodorant by Donna Karen, but it goes on like white. So I always rub it in. I don't know. I don't know if that's like correct, but I thought I'd do. I rub it in. And it keeps me smelling good. I gotta put on the dress, but I feel like if you see a deodorant thing, like try but you know I use it, okay? I'm probably not gonna bring my vlog camera. Um, but I will get footage on my phone. I'm gonna bring my tripod. I'm gonna use my lotion because their lotion seems a little thin. Oh, cool. Black oakum. Mm. Smelling like a snack. I was gonna put a necklace on, but I didn't bring any, so. I love you. Okay. Lipstick. Gloss stick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. It's like my face time. Okay. Here's the outfit. I have to go. I'm early, but she was calling, so I need to go. So I'm going to car back, but. I'll get better pictures, I promise. But bye, love you guys. And she's going to be talking to us today about how hard it is to be a diamond in a rhinestone world, and I know we all can relate. She's going to talk to us about the need um, for lawyers in the influencer marketing industry and how to dress yes. the part. Okay, how did I get into it? Um, I started on YouTube in 2014, and I just started posting videos, just random videos, I was in college. I was like, I'm just gonna post videos, like whatever, no big deal, nobody's making money. 2016, somehow I got to law school, I was not trying to go to law school. My advisor said, sweetie, you need to pick a major. I said, uh, yeah, get somebody else to do it. Um, and my mom was like, you need to pick a real job. I said, what about theater? She's like, be for real, that day. It's hard out here. So then, that really, then I just continued to grow my YouTube, because that was my creative outlet. Um, Took a pre-law class, fell in love with it. I was like, this is why, I had no idea. I said, if I get in, I'm gonna go, I got it, so I went. Um, I went to Cumberland. School of Law, period, shout out to Sandra. Um, and during that time, like, I was making connections with creators. So just like my colleagues, and they're like, oh, you in law school, like, all of a sudden I got a contract. What is this about? I'm like, when y'all get contracts? I don't even get no contracts myself. What the fuck money y'all make? <laughs> then at that time, YouTube all of a sudden said, you can monetize your platform, turn it on. So what we did, turn it on. I didn't know it was still, like, very good. $100 here, $100 there. I was a broke law student, okay? Um, so after I graduated law school, I worked in, in employment law. And during that time, I had somebody that wasn't a friend say, hey, like, how much do you charge for contract reviews? Uh, let me review my notes. Uh, and in that moment, I was like, oh, this could be a thing. Like, I looked at her contract, and it was in the five figures. I can't remember what it was, maybe like 30000 I can't remember. But that was the first contract I saw in the five figures. So I was like, okay, um, we can figure this out. And then I started talking to other lawyers that are in, like, intellectual property, a little bit more traditional. They're like, yeah, like, it's similar to IP, it's similar to entertainment. Maybe this could be a thing with influencers. So then I was like, all right, let me see if anybody else out there need help with contract. Y'all need help with contract review? So then that's really how I fell into it. It was just one person like, hey, do you need help with this? Do you need help with this? Or they would ask about terms. A lot of times it would be like, what is exclusivity? Um, I would tell them that, oh, well, I already signed it, so next time I'm going to have you review it. Um, or, uh, I keep saying this, but brands are late on payment. So at some point, it's like, if a brand is continuously late, who am I going to go to? A lawyer. Somebody help me, please. The brand isn't paying me. What can I do? What are my resources? I want to sue. I want to take them to court. Sweetie, it's $300, it's fine, it's only $300, it's fine, it's not worth it. Um, so it just really started, it really started with educating creators. And then now it's a little bit bigger because people are making more money. Not for sure. Okay, let's talk about 
ethically and successfully navigating the digital era. This is gonna be on us to be posting because how can we advertise better than social media? When's the last time you got a business card and dropped it? You don't have to say it because you got one today, that's embarrassing. But I lose business cards all the time. But on social media, it's a digital business card. It's there, let's say you lose your job, or let's say you're sick of your boss, you don't have to say that, you with them, that's crazy. Um, or say you're like, I just wanna do something different. You don't wanna put yourself in a box where the only, people only associate you with the firm you work at or the place that you work at, right? Why not have a personal brand? That's why Sarah Williams is a really good example. Whether she's with Alexander Shannar or not, people know who she is and she's amazing. I would hire her, people would hire her, whether she's attached to the firm or not, right? So that's why it, social media is so important for us as attorneys to make sure we're navigating this. This is the Women's Litigator Conference, okay? Some of us, we know, we're not getting paid much for the boys, for the boys, okay? So it's important for us to go the extra step, right? It's also building community. There's so many other law students or lawyers that are out there that need to hear your point of view. I have friends that we do the same thing. How many ways can you tell a creator to read a contract? We say, read the contract, read the contract, read the contract. But because the way I present it or the way someone else presented it, a client is gonna pick them for that. So find your space online for sure. But ethically, <laughs> y'all know uh, gotta do that, gotta keep bar. <laughs> so um, disclaimers versus disclosures. I actually hate using the front camera. This is completely off topic. The back camera is the best. So if you're gonna do content, do as I say, not as I do. The back camera is better. Um, so, <sighs> done. <laughs> I had Jello here charging. Sorry, y'all leaning. Lean with a rock with it. Now I'm on the bed with my outside clothes. Anyway, this is hotel bed. Got a Sprite. Mm -mm -mm. I think it went really good, really well. But I felt like I got compliments. But I felt like I was a little too walky. Like I was walking when I was changing my points. But then I was kind of walking when I was kind of thinking, like, what am I gonna say? Cause I ended up like saying a few things before I got to something. It just showed me that I need to change the structure of the PowerPoint. Cause I use like the core of the same PowerPoint and then I add things and change things. <sighs> but I think it went okay. Wasn't my best work, but I think it went well. Got some laughs, that was the goal. Um, but we have another person speaking now. And um, I'm just gonna relax. I was like, I was gonna sit in there, but be for real. I didn't register anyway, so just debriefing. Like, it went really well. Um, yeah, I thought I was gonna get more questions. I'm used to more of like an interactive audience, but I did like the hand raising thing, which I like. I think that makes it more personable. I tried to like, I shared a few stories. I think that's a really good speaking thing. I mean, I'm not giving speaking tips to y'all. Um, I love a PowerPoint when it comes to speaking. It helps me stay focused. I actually love how they did their PowerPoint because I could see the PowerPoint slide in front of me and then there were two PowerPoints on the side and I had the clicker. I just really like that cadence. Um, I really enjoyed that. So that was good. Um, I wasn't told how it was going to work before I got up there. So I just was like, now, child, how am I going? Who am I supposed to ask about the click? Like I just was myself, which I really love. Um, but yeah, I think it went well. Um, it's not gonna be perfect every single time, but I think it went good. I was so nervous because it's such a like new thing and a lot of more traditional attorneys don't get it or I'm young and like, it's just, I'm always like in my head. Um, and then to carry the PowerPoint conversation from talking about the nitty gritty of impulsive marketing, how it works, why it works, to the ethics of us as cre us as lawyers to help creators and to be online, and to post online and the importance of that, and then to talk about attire. Like I was like, what? What? <laughs> um, but I hope it made sense. It, it, I think it felt chaotic in my mind, therefore when I was explaining it, it felt chaotic. Like to me, I wouldn't have chosen that, I would have chosen one of those topics. I feel like I was talking about three different topics in one hour, <laughs> but, but anyway. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're traveling through Nashville, please get pre-checked. My line, the regular line. That's insane. Yeah. Thank you. 
Girl, about to get in our fitness game. Yeah, we about to. You didn't see that. <laughs> my <laughs> my like, audience knows I'm a crackhead, so. Me too. I'm so excited. Oh, I've never done this before, so. And I haven't done a fitness like dance class since college, and it was. I feel like this is gonna be same, like the same same so. era. I've not danced like this since. So. It's like a fitness dance. So. Don't be in our business too much. Right. <laughs> Don't you see me looking crazy? I'm gonna do the best that I can out. with what I got. So exactly, she said it. The girls she look cute. They really do. I'm gonna need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun on safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision, it couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me, supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live and it's good in your area. My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tenant frames on me, leaning down. I'm winning now. Been a while, you ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. Treat a setback like a step back. Wave, I got the game in a virus grip. Way up when the virus clear. All my niggas on the flight list. Rebelly gifted, take the plot and I twist it. Got a big lit. Sex with the incense, got my mind rants, won't stop from relentless. I'ma need safety, tell her I can't snake it. Ray gun on safety, my girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world, she want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm yeah. going. I want a grill for the mouthpiece, so write that a light on my face. Yo, Shotty just call me a fave, cause she like my character traits. I never stop for a break. I put a lock on the game, I put a stock in my name, but I give a fuck about the fame. I took a bite out of life and it tastes so exquisite, it feel like you do when you look in my pendant. Hopeless romantic, my girl, chin up for the kid, I'm not on no simp shit. Won't stop to the youngest, he dreams. Wanna take him from rags to riches. I heard that you claim that you know me, but you ain't the homie, the fuck is your friendship? I need the Lord, he back up the royalty, I give a fuck if you notice me. Ain't nobody holding me, big wave at your shoreline so they know it's me. Bay boy from the cold seas, nitro with a new pen, go at ISO, tell him don't reach. Ice cold with it, no fleece. I'ma need safety, tell her I can't snake me. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> We're here, we're alive. That was fun. Okay, okay we just got out of my workout class. Adjust to turn left on 10th Avenue. Not too much. <laughs> okay, we, we just got out of our workout class. We look okay, but we, we stood there for five minutes. But really why we look Girl. cooled off is the cold. Okay, yeah, we came outside. It's no, I'm gonna have to Absolutely. <laughs> Pour it from hot to cold real quick. That was so fun. 10 out of 10 recommend. I haven't danced like that since, we were saying, since like college. Oh, Literally. I didn't even finish college, but you know what I mean. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> We did. I haven't, I haven't done, I haven't done I that. Dropped since out. Right? I dropped out. Sorry. You, can, you don't need the whole story. But anyway, that was so fun. It's called uh, 305. 305 Fitness. So if you're ever if you're in the city and you want like a fun workout, change it up. You need to try that. Take a friend. Take a group of girls. We were in there. Have been dancing, so much. Dancing. Like the one of the instructors got on a handstand. It's worth. Literally. So that tells you how literally. fun it was. No, no, literally, actually. Like. Yeah, no, it was fun. On the handstand. Like, I was like, okay, we were keeping up though. We were I'm honestly say, like for our first class. We were keeping up. Yeah, I mean at the end I slowed down. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh no, I mean there was part points where I was I like, mean, I'm just gonna do whatever because I'm, I'm fighting gonna, for my life. Yeah, absolutely, I'm absolutely. actually fighting absolutely. for my life. But that was fun. So much fun. I definitely recommend y'all. Y'all have to check them out. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave information down below. A little link. A little if, I have, if I can get a code for y'all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you because they girl, emailed me and said, said, "Hey, we wanna." She knew uh, your it name. It wasn't her. Yeah, I think they just told her that I was coming in. But, oh, got it, got it, got it. But that's not who was emailing me. Oh, got it. Okay. These vlogs. She's like, I have five blocks. So do I. And nothing is edited, so yeah. I have like three editors now. Girl. I need to quit. <laughs> and still no videos going. Oh, we just. <laughs> I was like, don't say it, camera. It's not funny. It's not funny. See this type of shot, and then like I'm coming out the window yeah. and I'm waving. Yeah. It's like, girl, I be thinking of all the ideas, <laughs> no, but it's no, like, but how? Exactly.
beautiful people. So today is Monday. I have not spoken, so that's why my voice sounds like girl. 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 These glasses are dirty. Anyway, I am trying the somewhat new salted caramel latte from Chamberlain Coffee in a can. It's like perfect for it to go. And this one is with oat milk. It's actually pretty good. Mm, that's actually pretty good. Honestly, I might put it in a glass over ice. Because I feel like it's something about in a glass over ice that just tastes like coffee. But this is good. This is good. Definitely shake it up before you taste it, though. But I like it. Mm, good. I have a mocha flavor as well. I almost feel like I would like a vanilla latte within the salted caramel because I'm not sure if I like the... I mean, I like caramel lattes, but I like vanilla better. Anyway, I'm also got my oatmeal with apple and bacon. Okay. Anyway, we are getting a late start to the day, but that's okay. That's okay. It's Monday. Give myself grace. Jump back into the week. I thought I was gonna have to wash my hair because um, I did a pretty hard workout yesterday but I just blow dried it I, I wasn't even sure I was gonna turn out so I didn't show you like turn on the camera but I just used my round brush I put some um Olaplex bonnie oil on it and I just uh blow dried blow dried it but I think when I go pick up my lunch I might grab some dry shampoo because I really need some what's going on all these um I was trying to download the clips that I needed to edit I don't know but I movie counter days Cause I've been having so many iMovie problems. I'm just like, girl, my computer like, is like, girl, what's all this stuff? Yeah, none of these video clips downloaded. Look at this. Like, y'all, do you really want to fight me? Do you want to catch his hands?
Um, I was raised in Flint, Michigan. Um, I went to college in Georgia, stayed there for an extra year, so I was there for five years. And then I was in Alabama for law school and I was there for seven years, so. Yeah. And then I just moved here to So managing content creation and also just like your full-time job, can you tell us a little bit more about like the day-to-day? -day? Like I know you have another speaker situation. Yeah. So with Shopify so later today. Yeah, going on today. Constantly running around, tell us what your day-to-day -day looks like. Um, every day is different. That's my favorite part. Um, when I was at a law firm, I'm still at a law firm now, but this is totally different. They look totally different life. I was at a traditional law firm, super old school, super like you have to be in the office. You have to do what the partner says. Like you have to put in the hours, like 60 hours a week, which is wild. That's how I'm gonna do that. Like that's crazy. I also like to sleep. Um, so now it's a little bit more manageable because I have a lot more flexibility. So the firm I work at, they wanted me to work full time, and I said I've been an entrepreneur for three years. Be for real. So I actually work part time. So that helps me with flexibility in my time and running my businesses along with helping hers. Um, it's all about time blocking. If it's not on the calendar, I don't know about it. It has to go on the calendar. Um, I could just be old school. I am 30, so maybe that's some of it too. But it has to go on the calendar, time block everything. My friends got to get on the calendar. Everybody has to get on the calendar. Um, I'm also big on to-do lists. So it's, it's kind of just, what I do generally is like I make my weekly to-do list and I, so I a task it a day. So if I have like 10 tasks, I might do two tasks daily. So I'm super like particular about my time. That's really the only way I can manage it. And then I give myself a lot of grace. Like I was late today, my bad. And sometimes it just happens. So I have to give myself grace because I can't be everywhere all the time. I also feel like something that's cool that just I've noticed following you is like you post those to do lists. You gotta hold everyone accountable and like here's what's going on in the day yeah. and everything else. And that's something that I feel like is so important because yeah. not only you're saying to yourself here's what's going on, but like we see you checking it off throughout everything that you're going through and doing. Yeah. And I love doing that because it also shows like I'm not gonna check everything off. Like let's be for real. I might have ten items and I need three, but I'm still gonna share that because it's just like I'm I'm human. I'm not gonna do every single thing and be on top of everything every day. Yeah. Definitely. So I know we've kind of talked about this major life change. We have a lot of students that may be like going out of state for college or anything else coming okay. from like Alabama to NYC. What has kind of just been like the biggest thing that you've seen so far just within yourself? Um, I think it's it wasn't as difficult as expected, but there are some things that are difficult. Transportation is wet. I mean, I'm just used to driving it around how my car here is different. Um, but I think it's just the faster paced environment. That's the most different than like the South. It's just a lot more fast paced here. That's probably mostly it. Definitely. And also I know you spoke about leaving a traditional law firm experience and now working at like level up legal. Yeah. And I know from anything you've kind of like seen whether it's on like social media or anything else, like one of the biggest things about that law firm it's like predominantly all women. Yeah. Everyone's like extremely well dressed, super personable, <laughs> etc. That's what you think. <laughs> No, but we love that. <laughs> um, so, like, when creating content on YouTube, you know, like, how do you balance that? Like, with me, it's kind of hard. Like, I do YouTube also. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of hard sometimes to go to school and YouTube. Because editing, like you said, it takes a lot. Yeah. It's making sacrifices elsewhere. If you're like, school is a priority, YouTube is a priority, right? Maybe you can't go to all the birthdays. That was me. It was like, I can't go to all the weddings. I can't go to all of this. I can't do all this for a time period, right? I'm like, it's a temporary sacrifice for a long-term gain. So if I can make this short sacrifice, what can I get later? Like when I was in law school, it was like, I cannot, that's priorities, it's fit, so I'm gonna have to pass this thing. So like uh, first semester, I didn't make as many sacrifices, I didn't make great, great, the best grades. My second semester of my first year, I made these lists because I was like, listen, everything shut down during exam season. But I communicated with my audience and I was like, hey y'all, I'm gonna try to batch record and batch film as much as I can so I have consistent content. But if I can't be online, I'm just like, hey, y'all, I need a few weeks or a few, like a month. And also remember, like, there's going to be people that are going to be consistently posting. And that's okay. That ain't got nothing to do with you. My life motto is what's for me is for me. So if I was supposed to be posting, I would have. If I was supposed to get that opportunity, I would have. If I didn't, it wasn't for me. And that's just, it's, it's a really hard concept. And I constantly have to remind myself. But that's just how I feel. If I'm supposed to be somewhere, I will be there. If I was supposed to be in the room, I'm going to be there without a doubt. If I'm not, I trust and believe I'm not supposed to be there. I um, love that you motivated um, pretty much. Um, what can be motivated? I say a lot of things. I, probably my mom first, because she was just so happy, and I was like, child, I know you want to be to a law school. I was trying to go to the, it'd be a major theater, but it's fine. Um, but definitely my mom, but at some point, it was just like myself, like trusting that like, I got in this, I can do this. 
that was like the hardest part. I, I don't have no judges or attorneys or anything in my family. So sitting in orientation, everybody's like, oh, my so-and-so is this, my so-and-so is this. And I'm like, babe, I'm an only child, it's just me and my mom. So like, it was it was like getting out of my own mind and knowing like, I'm supposed to be here. I, I can do this, I got in for a reason, I can pass these grades, I can make things, I can get those grades. So then it got to be just, I was so proud of myself that I wanted to accomplish it for me. Um, do you feel like your career has separated you or like um, guided you to like a way that now you realize you wouldn't be or like do things dif- that you would do things differently now than you did before? I have to say yes because I mean I just know too much. Law school t- teaches you a lot. Um, there's things like I know and it's like I just can't do that. I can't. I can't go. I can't do that. I can't do it. Um, to me. Outside of like, of course, like family, friends, wellness, da da da, my bar license comes first. I'm not doing nothing to go against the license to practice law. It took me way too difficult to get there. Um, so there's just some stuff I just think a little bit differently. Um, so yes, there's, there's definitely, I'm definitely moving a little bit differently, for sure. Um, how do you deal with like hate online? Because I don't like social media to be very, very toxic. People do try it. I don't get a ton of hate. It ebbs and flows. There's like hate seasons, and I'm like, I don't even, you don't even go here. Um, so a lot of times, it's, I think I got the best knowledge. I can't remember who told me this. I don't know if it was a friend I saw online or a podcast or something. Where it's like, I don't value the good comments, and I don't value the bad comments. Because when you start to value the good comments, it's hard to switch it off when you see the bad comments. So I just take it all as commentary. Not saying that I don't appreciate when somebody reaches out or I get a DM, because I do. Like, it's there's never enough words to express, like someone telling you, like, I went to law school because I saw you do it. Or, like, I passed a grade because, like, you told me to work out or journal. Like, that's irreplaceable. Like, that's something I can't comprehend. But I can't value them any higher or any lower. They're all just neutral so that I'm, I can maintain neutrality and understand that people in my real life, like, I have an amazing core group of friends. I have an amazing family. I'm super blessed in that, in that way. So I value what they say because they actually know me. Yeah, I could do like an hour long YouTube video, but it's 24 hours in a, in a, in a day, time set, right? And it's only one video, one hour. So people don't, they're, they're seeing what I'm showing in a certain way. So just not valuing it and taking it. And understanding that I also appreciate some difference in opinion. I can value that. I can be like, you know what? You look like you have a different experience than me. And I can appreciate that. And some people just can't, it don't bother me nothing. And also, I'm a block, block you. It, it's like, okay. you don't get blocked. Somebody was like, your internet space is like your house. If you just bought a new couch and somebody walk in your house and be like, I don't like that couch, you're going to be like, okay, I'll still want to sit on this couch. You're not going to go buy another couch. So that's how I treat my internet space. It's like, if I feel like, okay, now you're being disrespectful, like you're not just giving like an alternative opinion, you're being rude, you're being disrespectful or degrading, or you are being rude to other people, you're just getting blocked. Like, period. Yeah. Does everybody mind to be in the vlog? Are y'all coming out? Okay. <laughs> back home ignore my messy apartment but getting on a call with my manager and co-pilot which I love co-pilot y'all know I've been using them for my workouts so we're gonna talk business maybe a girl's gonna work with them again but jump me on here they were so sweet um I forgot I had a call at 12 and it was like 11 30 and I was all the way in Manhattan and um I wanted to come home because I need to change for the event so Oh, says Joel, and we'll let them know you're here. Let's put on some um, Ashby Gone. This is the hand cream from Loxodon. I just keep it over here by my desk because I hate when my hands are dry. Wow, my hands just slurp that right on up and put some on my elbows. Literally, it's like. I meant to show y'all me making this, but it's just drip drop. They're not like drip drop. I will leave them down below, but I'm also chewing my Ollie multivitamin. Okay? It's warm today, but it's a trap, okay? It's a trap. Gotta be careful, because it might not actually be warm. It's like it's called sick weather. Because I'm trying to decide, I guess I can ask y'all. So I was supposed to do the Costa Rica trip with Trova trip, and then that isn't a thing. It's a long story. I don't have that much memory, and I'm tired, but 
So now I got this other opportunity to do a trip to Ireland and I just like the structure of theirs a little bit better. So yeah, I'm trying to decide. Y'all, we made it to Shopify. Period. It's giving elevate and protect your brand with Level Up Legal with the Level Up Girls. Shopify is so cute. So cute. Literally the cutest. The vibes are here. We made it through another Subway debacle. What I'm wearing, I was trying something different. Matter of fact, ooh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. I was about to set y'all up crazy, child. Mm -mm. I love the decor, excuse me. <laughs> Two to three different points. Okay. So you let me know what points in the diagram that are calling out to you. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm so used to it. The lighting probably not good. This one Actually, switch me sides because this is better. Oh. Oh, okay. Whichever is your good side. Okay. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard you say no needle, and I still was like. <laughs> This camera is so nice. Thank you. And it's a kit lens, not even a good one. Do a little smile. Oh, wow. How do I get them all these PR? Yeah, you just get them all like sticker. Yeah, it's like. This is so cool. We feel relaxed. She's like, girl, she just put it on there. Thank you. Stress and immunity. <laughs>
Hello, good people. We made it back home. <sighs> Feeling pretty good. Today was overall a pretty good day. I got a YouTube video up, so I just feel better when I'm on my YouTube game. I don't know. Anyway, so I got a video up. Yay. It was the um, brand trip video. Then I'm going to edit later on either tonight or tomorrow. I don't know yet, but I'm just going to sit here for like two seconds. Longer than two seconds, for like 10 minutes and like just bob along. And then I'm going to go to the gym for arm day. Since I didn't do it this morning, I'm going to do it this evening. For some reason, I've been an evening workout girly. I think because like I wake up and I want to just like get to work lately. Because um, I haven't been waking up early enough to like gym before work where it doesn't feel like I'm like wasting the day. I don't know. But I'm probably just going to, honestly, I'm just going to work out in this. I'm just going to, it's arm day. I'm just going to do arm day in this. And then I'm going to make tacos tonight. The Trader Joe's burrito tacos. I can't guarantee I'm going to film that. I can't make a guarantee, but I am going to make burrito tacos. So I may show you the after, but I can't say that I'm going to show you. It's pretty simple. Put the burrito taco in, in the pan. Onions. Oh, I didn't get any. Do I have jalapenos? Anyway. I'm, de I'm decompressing from work. People, I left my camera at home, so we're on my phone. I'm sorry in advance, but we are at Bluestone something. I'm trying to decide if I want to sit outside or not. Um, I guess I will, but anyway, I hate that I left my camera. But we're waiting for Alexis. I have a call with my manager like right now, so. I'm about to get on here. They said their Wi-Fi is like no password, so. Yeah. Yeah. I was running. I did not bring my camera, so we're on my phone. I'm so sorry. Okay, but I straightened my hair. The lighting is not great. Look who's logging on their phone because they're chicken head. Me. I forgot my phone. Ooh, okay. I just watched it. Ignore me. Ignore me. To the bases, been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless. So I stay in the streets, get dangerous, so I might bang it. Don't like hanging, unless you family, please don't claim it. Like what you claiming, what you saying, what you bought and what you need. I'm at the house, ain't at the club, I'm really chilling with my seed. I love my poppy, put me on, I'm really chilling with OGs. Don't test my gangster, think I'm bitch, man, we gon' fuck Tryna be here for a while in a good time, but we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, yeah, I look fine. Good people, times, and good wine, good wine. We ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, yeah, I look fine. Good people, times, and good wine. Good wine. Streets get ugly, yeah, I seen it. Please believe me, I be tucked. Don't like smoking, last so long, so I keep sipping on this cup. Don't crave attention, just to mention, I be chilling in the cut. Glass got empty, now I'm searching through my wallet for a buck. Dollar bill, it's some change in my pocket, oh no. Hit my girl, can you spot me? I just need a little loan. Out the house, and I'm just vibing, vibing, vibing on the low. She said she on the way, but she gon' ride it, ride Trying Tryna be here for a while, in a good time. When we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, yeah, I look fine. Good people, times and Good wine, good wine, good wine, good wine.
Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on the low. Trapping out a while, here. Yeah. I keep seeing the leaders doing less. We talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the coop. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my Marshawn shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me in the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky. Taste toasted and be raised so in the raincoat. Hit the waist quota, I be flossing. I be locked in. I was lost here. All that turned me to a target. Bitch, on me, I be cautious. Then I was an adolescent, then I had a lesson I'm the man now, I got fans now, I'm on cam now I got plans now, I'm finna branch out Grew up quick, but never let go of this here All of that bullshit is in my rear hey, hey, hey.